Scorpio, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. May or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out all the placements. Overall energy. All right. Still holding back. Still holding back. My God. Very, very stubborn individual. If your connection has been on hold for a very long time, it probably will be on hold at least till a year ends. Few more days. This person's still not ready to open up. Someone's still being a closed book. They're being very, very careful. And um, they're just staying low profile, basically. Okay? They don't feel safe opening up. Very secretive. So there's probably a lot going on, but they're just not wanting to open up. Neither are they letting you go for a few of you I'm getting, and nor are they coming towards you and opening up. Okay? So it's pretty messed up. What happened in the past? Oh. What happened, Scorpio? You broke up with someone. So there has been a breakup in the past out here. Everything that you knew, everything that you believed in the past out here about this connection was challenged. Okay. The universe pulled the rug off your feet and this person probably showed you their true colors. And uh, there was an illusion that was broken. All right. What is the current situation? There could be someone new coming towards you, Scorpio, in love. Could be someone in, uh, younger to you. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Like yourself. Uh, otherwise, this is just someone you're younger to you, okay? Now, this person here, I feel um, they're very emotionally immature is what I say. But yeah, again, I feel someone here who probably is very dreamy. Yeah, very, very dreamy out here, okay? They're constantly dreaming about what they want with you. But yeah, this person here probably is wanting to initiate a text, okay? Or probably even apologize to you if there is no communication, which I feel there isn't. If there is no communication between you and this person out here, then this person here is feeling a lot of love for you and they want to come towards you and they want to apologize, okay? Something on a more emotional note. Could be an apology, could be to some kind of an initial start between the both so you guys can break the ice. Others of you, this could be a new person coming in towards you, okay? Very initial stage. What is on this person's mind that you're dealing with? Ace of Cups. Yep, this is the same person out here. Yeah, they're coming in. This person here, all of a sudden is holding so much of love for you. This person has so much of love for you. All of a sudden, there is this overwhelming uh, feelings that this person has for you, okay? They want to revive this connection that ended between you both, okay? Whatever happened in the past out here. There was a revelation of some sort. There was something that came out in the open. You were not expecting it. Or someone just ghosted you, whatever. Anything, whatever that was, right? Now this person here wants to revive this connection, okay? Their heart wants love and you are the love of their life, okay? They want to begin an emotional cycle with you. Nothing very practical, but yes, they do want to start an emotional cycle with you. Let's see, how does this person view Scorpio? Hmm. See, a lot of sexual energy out here. They're very attracted to you sexually. They do want a new start with you. They want a clean slate with you. Now, for a lot of you, this could be a brand new person, okay, with two S's out here. It could be a completely new person out here. For the others of you, if there is no new person out here, then this is the old person coming back towards you, okay? Wanting a new start, revival of love, and uh, again, this they are very sexually attracted to you, okay? So, yeah, for a lot of you, this person could be uh, very passionate about you also. They are. And they want to come in with that apology. Let's see. What does this person feel deep down for Scorpio? Ooh! Nice, Scorpio, what's going on? Someone wants that fairy tale with you. This is someone who wants that happily ever after. This is awesome. This is awesome. All right, so that looks good. So you know what I'm getting here? New people, you already know. If this is someone new here, eventually they want to get married to you. They, they, they see you as the one, okay? There's no one who compares to you, okay? They want the kids, they want the hamster, they want the dog. They want everything with you, okay? You emotionally satisfy them, okay? to the T. This is absolute emotional bliss. If this is an old person out here, they're coming back, okay, and they want to initiate this entire new cycle with you, but eventually, deep down, this is their goal. This is their goal. I don't see marriage yet, but definitely they want a relationship with you, and the relationship is something which is like, you know, long-lasting. It's not bullshit. Yeah, it's just not like only a fairy tale. This is also someone who sees the potential of having marriage with you or even starting a family with you. Okay. But this is where they have reached that full emotional potential. It's reached with you and they know you're the only one. Okay. Um, yeah. 
So how does this person want to move forward with you? Page of Wands. Okay. All right. No problem. I do feel there could be two people coming towards you. But all right. Um, they are coming in towards you with a little bit of immaturity. A little bit of, you know, if all this while they were procrastinating the entire idea of talking to you, they now want to talk to you, okay? They do want communication. They're coming in to communicate with you, okay? But it's a very free spirit communication here, okay? It's nothing committed. So the thing is that they want this with you, but they're going to wear a false mask. The way they're coming in towards you, because you broke up, right? Because things were pretty damaged, they don't want to come in with that full force because they don't want you to shut them down, okay? And see how careful they're being, right? That's how careful they are. So they don't want to come towards you and put all the cards on the, uh, on the table, they want to take it one step at a time out here. But the way they're coming towards you, you may even shut them out like, okay, you know what? I've seen that. Bye-bye. But eventually, that's what they want. Okay. Um, let's see. What's going on behind the scenes? Strength. See, that's what I said. They're holding back. They know something's going to take full inner strength. Something's going to take so much courage, power, and, you know, they got to be so brave to come towards you here. They're controlling themselves. They're controlling themselves to the core. Okay. They know that they need that inner power to overcome the challenges. All right. Because something big happened in the past with the tower out here. They do care. That's what I'll say. Okay. But. Um, yeah. It's going to require a lot of hard work. And I feel right now they're holding back. They are holding back. So there could be some delayed communication, but it's coming in for sure. What is the advice for Scorpio moving forward with this person? Nine of Pentacles, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when they come in, they can take that communication and shove it out, is what the advice is. You're okay on your own, Scorpio. You're absolutely okay on your own. You are at a very high value right now, okay? You're sensible, you're mature, and uh, you make this person nervous, by the way. Okay, you're doing well for yourself here. Very independent, very self-sufficient, okay? So you need to have that confident state of mind where you don't need to be clingy, you don't need to be needy, you don't need to be codependent on this person, okay? You do what you gotta do and you need to love yourself first, no matter how much you love this person. You can be in your comfort zone, you can be in that old world of independence, okay? If you feel safe there, stay. But don't be in that giving energy, all right? This person, let them do the work. Don't just give it. Don't give in. Okay? Don't make it so easy for them. Make them beg. Make them beg. Yep. Just stay relaxed. Feel good about yourself. Go get your nails done. For the men, just go work out. Look good. Just love yourself, buddy. Love yourself. What is the best possible outcome for Scorpio? <laughs> hmm. They're, um, this is, you know, they're being very stubborn, you know. This is something that, that's the fuck up out here. You're dealing with someone here who wants exactly what you want with them or you what you wanted with them here, but they want it their way. So they will make you wait. This is someone here who likes to make people suffer. This is someone here who wants it my way or the highway. So there's an ego tussle out here. You're not reaching out to them for sure, okay? And they're holding back. That's a lot of ego and pride out here. Now, what do we do about their pride? They lack flexibility, okay? They want to take control of the situation. So what they want to do is they want to wait a little bit more, okay? They're trying to see who breaks first. But they've already broken. They've al they already have. They already have broken. It's just that they're trying their best by being stubborn and rigid and not taking action or making a move out here. But um, if you can hold on a little more, Scorpio, you got them, okay? You win. You win this round. <laughs> is what I'm getting here, but... Yeah, Scorpio, don't give in, okay? Your advice is also to just be where you are. You're okay. You're, you're amazing. This person's coming back around here, Scorpio. I don't think this is a new person. For some of you, it could be. But I'm just thinking, why would a new person be so rigid and stubborn, right? If they love you so much. So, yeah, I feel this is your uh, ex or the person from the past coming back. So, yeah. Good luck. <laughs>